You're watching my body, my mundo. We're traveling to Cicada, not just for its caves, but to survey its unique and home. In a ritual believed to date back 2,000 years, the Igorot people bury their dead in hand-carved coffins that are tied or nailed to the side of a cliff and suspended high above the ground below. This gravity-defying graveyard is believed to bring the departed closer to their ancestral spirits. Traditionally, the elderly have hallowed their own coffins from local timber and painted their names on the side. Before a corpse is laid in the coffin, it is placed in a wooden death chair, quote unquote, death chair, tied with leaves and vines and covered with a blanket. The body is then smoked to delay it from rotting, as relatives pay their respects over several days. This cemetery, hanging cemetery, was it started in 1960. The first burial took place in 1960, and the last was in 2010. Uh, you have to be older than 80 to qualify to be buried here. According to the guide, in the past, family members moving the corpse from the death chair to the casket would have to break the dead person's bones to stuff it into the one meter long coffin in the fetal position. Today, the hanging coffins tend to be larger and are roughly 2 meters in length. Being buried in the fetal position is like returning back to where you came from in the fetal position in the womb, said the guide. As a corpse is strapped in rattan leaves before being placed in the coffin, Men drive metal pegs into the cliff face to suspend the coffin in its final resting place. Before the casket is hauled up the bluff, mourners let fluids from the decomposing cadaver drip onto their bodies, believing that it will bring them luck. While the Igorot's ancient funeral rite is unique, in the Philippines, hanging coffins of crags has historically been practiced in pockets of China and Indonesia. Elsewhere, this cliff face custom ceased long ago, but in Sagada, the tradition lives on. The last burial took place in 2010. Links to the original burial videos are provided in the description box. Thank you to the owners, Garrett Lickigan. In recent years, a trickle of interested travelers has started making pilgrimages to Sagada to visit the hanging coffins. Ironically, this vertical symmetry has turned into something of a lucrative livelihood for the locals, providing a much-needed economic boost to the whole town. Before ending this video, I'd like to show you my accommodation. I'm under my hut. <laughs> It's a native hut. You've seen it earlier. I'll be showing you the interior later. But I'm I'm having dinner. Yeah, look. Uh, this is bangos from Pangasinan from my Pangasinan, and it's served a native coconut bowl and wood uh, carb dish. Very nice. This hut is enough. Spacious enough for seven. Yeah, believe me. 
you have been watching my body my mundo if you enjoyed what you've been watching don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you get notified of our releases here on my body my mundo the beauty of the places events and the people and if you prefer growing and cooking then channel one is for you until next time your cool here Romulo. you're safe